According to a friend, the rift between the two brothers reportedly shows no signs of being healed anytime soon as the relationship grows increasingly strained. Prince William, 39, is reportedly angry with his brother for disrespecting the Queen, 96, and the royal family. The Duke of Cambridge reckons Prince Harry, 37, has crossed a line with his behavior and the rift between the two siblings is continuing to widen, according to Mail Online. William will turn 40 on Tuesday but, whether he has wished many happy returns by Harry from the other side of the Atlantic or even sent a card, seems uncertain given their alleged strained relationship. And sources close to William suggest there are no signs of a thawing in the frosty tensions between the brothers. The rift with his brother has been really hard on William, said one source. It's as if he is mourning the relationship he has lost. People don't realize he sort of fathered Harry to a degree. He wasn't just his brother, he was also a parent, always trying to pull Harry back from the brink. But make no mistake, he's angry. He believes Harry has disrespected the Queen and their family. The tension could intensify, too, with Harry releasing his memoirs later in the year as part of a multi-million pound deal. William remains protective of his younger brother, though, and will keep the door open to him forever according to sources. Another friend believes Harry always had reservations about royal life and hinted that the pressure of living and working with William put an enormous strain on their relationship. They went on to add that Meghan Markle complicated matters, too. William is reportedly still angry about Meghan's claims in last year's interview with Oprah Winfrey that it was his wife Kate Middleton who made her cry before her wedding to Harry and not the other way around. His relationship with his brother is in stark contrast to other aspects of his life with his marriage to Kate as strong as ever and fatherhood bringing contentment. His relationship with his father, Prince Charles, also seems to have improved after appearing turbulent at different points in his life, especially in his early teens. Asked whether they thought that William would repair his bond with Harry, a friend replied that William was very principled and thinks that his younger brother has crossed a line. As there were warnings that the couple's mere presence back in the UK could overshadow the Queen's Jubilee celebrations, they were banned from traditional trooping the colour balcony appearance. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's reunion with the Queen and other royals wasn't exactly smooth sailing, according to a royal expert. They were reportedly given only 15 minutes to share greetings and introduce Lilibet to the Queen. Harry's request to the monarch for a snap with his daughter was also reportedly not fulfilled. Kate Middleton and Prince William also didn't make it to the party Meghan and Harry threw for their daughter Lilibet's first birthday at the Windsor Castle. Christopher Anderson tells Us Weekly that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's attempts to mend fences didn't go well and that palace officials sidelined them during official events. They went there hoping to mend fences and ran into a brick wall, he told Us Weekly, noting that he was was personally surprised that Meghan and Harry were excluded from the royal's balcony appearance during Trooping the Colour. I thought that there would be an opportunity for, Harry, to show up there to show the solidarity, and, the future of the monarchy, he said. I'm sure they expected to have a warmer welcome than what they received. Meghan and Harry were demoted to the second row at St. Paul's Cathedral during the service of Thanksgiving for the Jubilee. The relegated position was a visual snub from the royal family, according to GB News host Alistair Stewart. Angela Levin, the royal biographer, agreed with Mr. Stewart's claims, saying the couple were absolutely furious by the arrangement.